Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art. Today we're going to be making a lino print, but instead of using ink, we'll be using water-soluble textures. So now the first step we're going to do is just a dry print. So with any of your paint markers or water-soluble textures, we're just going to colour in the lino tile. So as you're colouring over it, you'll notice that where you start, it will become a bit dry, especially if the climate that you're working in is quite warm. So because it's quite warm in here today, that we might need to give it a little bit of a spray to help the colour lift off the tile. So I'll just colour in the rest of this tile. Now that we've got the blue marker covering the tile, you'll notice where you first started has gone a little bit dry. So I'm just going to miss the tile from a little further away and not too much water, otherwise it will start to leak out the sides and it will ruin the contrast in your print. Now just putting the paper over the top of the tile. This is just so you can make sure you get your fingers all the way through the grooves. And usually I find that I get a better print if I put the paper on top instead of the reverse and putting the tile down on the paper. If you did have a roller, you could use that to apply pressure instead of your hands. I'll flip that over. You can see that's quite a decent print. Still a bit grainy around the sides, which is fine. You might like that kind of effect. Even if you wanted it to be a little bit more grainy, you could avoid spraying the water. But the next part we will do is two colors so you can play with some of the color mixing. So now I'll choose two different colors. So I'll try maybe a yellow and a green and we'll see how they blend together. So now I'm just going to color in the tile, spray a little bit more water and maybe apply some more marker. Now we've got two colours on our tile and I've just given it a bit of a spray and might just add a little bit more water. Hopefully that doesn't make it too wet. So as you can see, this is quite a clean activity, especially if you were doing this in a classroom scenario. Even with younger kids, what's great about these textures is they won't stain any clothing or anything like that if you do happen to make a little bit of a mess with them. But also the cleanup is very easy, so there's practically no cleanup with an activity like this. So now we've got that print. You can see that's pretty clean and you've got a nice marbling of the green and the yellow together. So that's come out quite well, so pretty happy with that one. And what's also great is that they dry very, very quickly. So no need for drying racks or waiting long periods of time for everything to settle. Now for the next step, what I'm going to do is just a very dry print, so it'll look quite grainy, but over that print, because I don't have to wait for anything to dry, I'll make another print over the top. So I've got my little mandala shape, and then I've got my little bird on this side. So I'll do the mandala first, and then put the bird over the top of the other one. So now I'll just choose quite a light color, so there's a bit of contrast, and color the first tile. the tiles coloured in. Like I said, it's already starting to dry up, so it'll be a very, very light print. But you can see what it looks like when you don't apply any water to let the markers really work with the lino. So just make sure I give it a good press. You can kind of hear that it's sticking to the plate a little bit. So that's a very, very dry print. You might like the look of this, but of course, if you do want it to be more crisp, you can add water to it before you make the print. 
but now we're going to be doing a darker print over the top. So I'm just going to colour this one in the black marker. Now I've just coloured in my print and I'm going to spray a bit of water so that the print is much more solid on top of the grainy print and I'll try and line this up. You could actually measure it out if you wanted to do it precisely but just because this is a little bit of a practice, it doesn't matter if it's a bit out of alignment, I'll just make sure I go over the intricate shapes. You might be able to see that some of the colours bleeding through to the top as well, which means you know you've got a good amount of moisture on there. So I will pull that off. So you can see the bird is quite nice and bold over the top of the grainy image. And of course you can keep reprinting over and over again with these. So that's quite a few decent prints that we've got out of this activity and no mess to clean up. And you can do lots and lots of different colour variations and marbling techniques as well. So just to recap, something like this is really great for young kids or even older kids that want to experiment with colour mixing. Very, very clean and easy to do. Using a marker like one of these, making sure it's water soluble, is very good for prints of this size because they're quite small, so it doesn't take too much time to colour it in. If you were doing something on a larger scale, then a roller and ink is probably much easier to apply and make the process a bit quicker. But for something that's just small and you want something easy and quick, then this is a really nice way of trying a different kind of lino technique. That's it for now. Don't forget to hit subscribe and join us next week.